You're in the middle of a waypoint mission with your Mini 4 Pro, and all of a sudden the unthinkable happens, and you lose the signal between the controller and the drone. What happens next? Well, in this quick video, I'm going to show you what happens by demonstrating uh, the signal being lost uh, by turning off the, the controller and seeing what happens to the drone under a couple different scenarios. So what I've done is gone ahead and created a fairly simple and quick waypoint mission here on the RC2 controller. You're going to access it by tapping on the little icon on the left hand side, the little racetrack or you know waypoint mission icon, which is going to bring up this menu down here. And here's the mission that I've already created. Any missions that you saved are going to be saved right in here. Let's go ahead and open up this one. This particular mission has five waypoints. So the first thing you're going to always want to do before you start your waypoint mission is tap the three dots here. A number of things you can set in here. The global speed, which I've got it set to just under 20 miles an hour. I'm going to have it land at the end of the flight. And one of the most important things you can set right here is what happens on signal loss. So on this first scenario, I'm going to set it to return to home. So basically wherever the drone is, in the waypoint mission and you lose a signal it's just going to return to home and land the other option is to have it hover land or continue uh, the two that i would recommend that you set would be return to home or continue hover and land those would be uh, under certain situations that i can't think of would come up very often but uh, you might want to have it hover if you're flying around a lot of obstacles you might just want to let it hover in place um, same thing with land. You might just want to have it land if you're worried about it coming in contact with some obstacles and that sort of thing. But if you're just doing a, a waypoint mission out kind of in the open, then I would select either return to home or continue. Most of the time I would probably just hit continue and let it go ahead and continue on with the flight. So on this first one, I'm going to go ahead and select return to home. And now I'm going to select go, continue. And now what you saw right there is where the, the flight plan uploaded to the to the drone and now the drone takes off and it's going to climb up you can see the waypoints there on this particular flight it climbs up to um, uh, approximately 30 feet <clears throat> and then it flies over to its first waypoint i'll let it i'll let it get on a little ways into the mission here all right, so here it goes on the way to number two waypoint. All right, right here I'm going to go ahead and turn off the remote controller. And when I do that, the screen share is going to go away. I can go ahead and do this right here. I'm going to go ahead and turn off the remote controller. It's a pretty windy day out here. So, um, you know, um, it should come back and land right on the spot that it took off. It was able to climb up to 20 feet or uh, the, re the, the manual recommends seven meters to climb up in order to get the to, to get an optical fix of its of its position and that way giving it a better more precise landing it's a little bit off but it's actually correcting back over to the left yeah that was pretty good because it it was actually a few feet to the right uh and then uh after when it got to about 12 feet in the air it just started kind of correcting there you go pretty much right on the spot Okay, so that's the first scenario. Again, that was where I had it set to return to home, and uh, it was just on its way to the second waypoint. I cut the power to the remote control, and it just came home and landed. So let's go ahead and start everything back up again. So on the second flight, what I want to do is have the drone continue on with the mission after it loses signal with the controller. So I'm going to go back into the settings, and I want to go into tell the drone to on on signal loss I want it to continue and I'm also going to go ahead and reset my global speed let's put it up around 20 miles an hour or so close enough so on uh, on loss of signal it's going to continue uh, at the end of the flight it's going to return to home and global speed is 19.9 miles an hour so let's go back out and we can go ahead and start our flight now so this time I'm going to go ahead and start the drone and uh, by using the go button on the uh, waypoint mission on the controller and as soon as it gets a few feet in the air I'm going to go ahead and shut off the controller and let it continue on the mission all by itself so let's go ahead and do that continue there it goes and I'm going to go ahead and all right now the controller shutting off the drone climbed up to about 35 feet and it continued 
straight ahead for 10 feet or so to its first waypoint, just like it's supposed to. Turned on the camera. Now it's flying to its second waypoint. And the reason it can do that by itself is because when you launch the waypoint mission, uh, the controller uploads all the data to the drone. So the drone has everything it needs to just continue on and point the camera where it needs to, turn on the camera, turn off the camera, fly the correct speeds, the correct altitudes, all that stuff. It's gonna do that all by itself because it's all loaded into the drone. Okay, here it comes. It's a quick flight, so it's already back to waypoint number five here. It just pauses there for a moment. Now it's turned back, looking back to the home, uh, the home point. It's already completed the mission. Now it's returning back to home like it's programmed to do. Should be coming into view here in just a moment. Make, it made a, a slight adjustment there with its optical sensors just to get right above the landing point. And it looks like it's doing exactly what it's supposed to. That's pretty good. It's actually a pretty windy day out today as usual down here in Florida. And look at that, it landed exactly where it uh, took off. And that was with me turning off the controller when it was just a few feet above the ground. So pretty amazing. Uh, you know, waypoints aren't for everyone. For me personally, I really enjoy the waypoints. Uh, I really liked it when it was with the Mavic 3 and the Mavic 3 Pro, and of course with the Air 3 and now with the Mini 4 Pro. Um, I'm just super excited to have it in all of the drones now, especially the Mini 4 Pro, because it, you know, the Mini's never had all this technology in them before. So it's, it's a great feature to have. Anyway, I hope you got something good out of that little uh, demonstration. And, um, and, and when you go in there and set those settings, for your uh, waypoint mission. Make sure you get all those settings set just the way you want them to. Double check them before you launch and you should be in good shape. Uh, you know, whether you have a loss of signal or interruption or total loss of signal, battery fails, whatever the situation is, you should be in pretty good shape. This little guy's an amazing drone and, uh, and I'm, I'm really happy with it. So uh, anyway, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you enjoy the content on my channel, I would definitely appreciate a subscribe. And if you have any comments, please leave those below. And thanks for tuning in. We'll see you in the next video.